Okay, morning guys. Welcome to the Catfish Kitchen. <laughs> it is early. I started this video with two dogs. It didn't go well. <laughs> now they're busy playing. Uh, here we go again. We were only home four nights. We're going for six this time. It was going to be seven. I changed it to six. Just didn't find it enough stuff. So uh, six nights it is. Long drive today. Six hours plus. Going to uh, Bunkan. Bunkan? Bunkan? Way up north. A place I've never even heard anyone say the name. It's not a popular place. It's one of the newer provinces. Bunkan. It's, uh, it, boys! <laughs> it's uh, east of Udon, Nang Nangkai Udon, and it's over in the corner this way. Uh, pretty big province, just not much, not not much of a city, I don't think. It seems very small. Lots of stuff to do around there. Lots of stuff to see. The natural attractions is it's pretty nice. These dogs just going crazy. Six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> This village got way too many dogs in it now too, barking all night, jeez. Last night, I burned my garbage. I come inside, I go back out to look. There's a dog dragging a bag of garbage down the road on fire. <laughs> you know, it wasn't a, an inferno, but the bag was on fire and he's dragging it down the road. He stole it out of my, out of my fire. Dogs are starving to death. Gotta be. There's no, not even any food in my garbage, you know. And he's still, <laughs> still in a, a flaming bag of garbage. Ah, uh, this trip. Bangkan, Sakon, or Nakon Panom, and Sakonakon, which I always thought was Sakon Nakon. Stay there, stay. Sakonakon. Which I was going to do three days there, but I can't find enough to do for two days, not online. It's uh, not what I expected. Then again, I got the name wrong too. So. <laughs> I get most names wrong, as you know. Uh, me and Ty, we don't get along. <laughs> the language, yeah, it doesn't work for me. Takes a long time for it to sit in. I'm still tired, I haven't had my tea yet. Gonna be tea on the road today, I think. I wanna get going. Get out of here. Gotta drive to Mahasalakam and then north from there. Uh, that road from here to Mahasalakam is always busy, so I wanna get, get there as early as possible. It's not a very, it's, it's not that it's a bad road, it's a little hilly and always busy. They are twinning it, but it's not ready yet. Uh, you get a lot of slow moving trucks on that road. Then after that, I have no idea what the roads are gonna be like. They seem like secondary roads, nothing nothing big. Then again, the one going to Maha Salakong, it's a secondary road as well. Uh, should be a beautiful day by the look of it. I'm going to stop at least one place on the way, which is, <laughs> here we go, which is a mountain. That could be interesting. Drive all day, climb a mountain. Yo Dick, say hello. Yo Dick. Not interested. <laughs> hey, come here. Say hello. Come on. Hey, there he is. There's the boy. Mr. Security. Eh, do dick. Don't care. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys. Let's hit the road. Let's get this show on the road. What do you think, do dick? You gonna take care of the house when we're gone? Absolutely. He's a really good security dog. Really good. Does his tours around the house, laps around the house, and make sure everything's okay. Lizards. 
and anything else. If you are a lizard or bigger, you be careful. My dude. <laughs> oh, you got so much hair coming out of you. I don't know what's in that truck or hanging off the side of it. I assume it's recycling. Maybe plastic bottles. We get by this motorbike, we'll take a look. Got a police motorbike behind me too. That, that matters. It's just there, right? Yeah, it's recycling. Huh? A load and a half. <laughs> Plastic. That's a pickup truck. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> That's pretty big for a pickup truck. Wow. How did he get away with it? <laughs> Not something you see every day around here. That's a milk truck. I've seen a couple of small dairy farms today. Not very big. They didn't look very big anyway. And that's a milk truck. And I saw a guy on a motorbike like that selling with three old-fashioned milk cans. This might be the milk area, I don't know. Lots of uh, cassava and sugar around here, sugar cane. Bad roads and bad drivers. Which is pretty normal. <laughs> That's not unusual. Saw a huge Cassava factory processing plant, I guess. And it was busy. There were trucks everywhere waiting to unload. got past that uh, milk truck. Follow him for about 20 kilometers, I'd say. And now this one. Check this out, guys. These are walking catfish. They are three feet long. 
They are massive. Look at that. These are the same catfish that I have. Whoever said they only get the 18 inches didn't know what they were talking about. Wow, that's big, huh? They're massive. They're at, at least three feet long. At least three foot long. <laughs> That's the carp over there. <laughs> You'll be gone. Wow. There's monkeys there too. They're fighting in the trees. <laughs> They're feeding them bananas. That's not very smart, is it? Big, big fish, man. I bet some of those pushing four feet. Holy man, they're big. It's only a small leg, huh? But lots of food, obviously. Look at the monkeys. Crazy monkeys, stay away from my truck. I couldn't figure out what I was looking at for a second. All I could see was the hat going across the water. <laughs> He's getting snails and putting them in that tub that's floating beside his head. There you go. <laughs> that is too cool, man. There's lots of people selling fruit here. On the other side of the road, it's noodle soup stalls and Things like that. Maybe I was thinking tomorrow night I'd do a tour of all these food carts. Most of them sell soup, but not all of them. I think that would be interesting. You never know what you're going to find in these food places. Okay, well that's it guys. Uh, it's a, a short day, but you know, started early. It's about seven o'clock, I guess, pretty early. Quit for me. I got lots of stuff to do, but you know, only I think it was five videos today, including this one. But one of those was climbing a mountain. Spoiler alert, I didn't get to the top. <laughs> No surprise there. Uh, those stairs were killer. But uh, pretty cool place that's gonna be a, an interesting video. Same place where those four foot catfish are. That's an eye opener too. Those fish are only supposed to get 18 inches along according to the internet experts. They're huge. I'd say the average size of the fish in that in that little lake, little pond, can't call it a lake because people get upset. <laughs> in that pond, it's three feet with some that you could walk on. You could ride them like a, like a dolphin. They're big fish, man. Amazing. Uh, this is a really small, really, really small place. Uh, which I'm, I'm not surprised about. Surprised there's really only one market. It's you got the morning side of it and the evening side of it and it's all day and there's, there's plenty of shopping around there normal 
high stuff, but uh, there's really only the one market area. They said there's a, a weekend market Friday night, Saturday night. I don't know where that is. I got here on Sunday, so that's out. But yeah, this is not a place you're going to come to for the excitement. That's for sure. Nice hotel though. That's good. Now that's a bonus. And quite a few hotels here. Busy day plan for tomorrow. Uh, all kinds of stuff in one area. All nature stuff. Uh, could be interesting. It's, you know, it's one of those things up in the air. If, uh, if the mountain where we were today, it's in that same area as anything uh, anything to go by it's going to be pretty nice there's some waterfalls and uh, some things like that some cool rocks should be a long tiring day <laughs> but we'll see you never know <laughs> I'm being watched all right guys, as always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget, check out northeastthailand.com. All right guys.